It may be the world's most populous country, but in China, human organs are a precious commodity. Only one in 30 Chinese in need of a transplant live to receive one. 59-year-old Zheng Baoyin is one of them. After five years and nearly 500,000 yuan, or 80,000 U.S. dollars, he now has a new liver. And his surgeon, Dr. Liu Zhenwen, says he's making a steady recovery. I've lived in hospitals almost every day since 2008. Then I heard about this hospital and Dr. Liu, who suggested the liver transplant. At first I thought it would be too risky, but I since learned that liver transplants are safe. After receiving a new liver, I've recovered from many other illnesses too, besides liver cancer. I can walk and enjoy food again and feel more energetic day by day. But not everyone is as lucky. Inside this room behind me is a 30-year-old patient who we can't film. He was diagnosed with chronic liver disease when he was just 21 years old, but his condition deteriorated suddenly last month. He's now waiting for an urgent liver transplant, but Dr. Liu says his chance of survival is just 10%. From September, a national computerized organ transplant system will begin matching donor organs from a pool of more than 160 hospitals to the patients in greatest need. Organ Transplant Committee Director Huang Jiefu says the source of its organs will change too. Under the new system, China will rely on voluntary organ donations rather than death row prisoners, a practice he says will end completely in the next three years. And despite a traditional belief in keeping one's body whole in the afterlife, a growing number of Chinese say they'd give theirs. If I was younger, I would donate now. I would love to, because there are so many poor people in need. I would donate for society. According to figures from the National Health and Family Planning Commission, Organs donated by the public, including both living and deceased donors who volunteer to do so, now account for more than half of the country's transplants, with donations after death growing by nearly 100 cases every month. But even if more Chinese are willing to donate their organs, the new system needs to be seen as fair and totally transparent in order for them to go under the knife. An objective waiting list is key to ensuring this, so organs aren't simply sold to the highest bidder. The organ distribution must be fair and transparent, or else the public may doubt whether the organs are going to their destination. This could hurt citizens' eagerness to donate. Back in the ward, Zheng says he's looking forward to finally being with his three grandchildren and doing more for others. Society has given me my second life. Now I want to make more contributions to society. If the system works, it will also bring a quicker end to China's reliance on executed prisoners, saving lives in more ways than one. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.